All right, all. So um, today what I want to do is I want to show you a new little feature uh, that we have. It's been a while that it's been around for those of you who, who've been using Clip Project. Um, this might be something uh, that might come in handy. So here I just have a basic uh, PLC card, nothing really too fancy, just for the example's sake. I'm just going to drop in uh, some terminals. So here I'm going to drop in, uh, it's going to be terminal, rotate this bad boy right here. I'm going to rotate that, slap that in there. This is going to be TB1. And here I'm going to put it the other way. And this is also going to be TB1, but this is going to be an example with uh, multi-level terminals. So, okay, so here we go. Um, going to put in some uh, push button. I'm just going to put a whole bunch of push buttons. Anyways, like I said, it's just for the example sake. All right. Um, so now from here, what I want to do is I want to grab this guy and say that he's TB2 uh, sorry he's TB1 and all these guys are going to be basically level 1 right so it's going to be for multi-level terminals it's going to be level 1 right on and these guys over here these are going to be level 2 right on okay so now um, in my terminal strip navigator I can see here that they're level 1 level 2 um, everything looks good if I go check my edit here um, everything is coming in uh, nice uh, 1 2 1 2 level 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 2 everything looks good perfect no problem um, here just want to make sure my sort code okay that didn't come I'm just going to grab this guy here and say sort terminal strips default and what you're looking for is you're going to need um, ePlan beforehand to generate uh, one two one two one one two two yeah so basically what you want ePlan to do is you want them to put this information down, which is the sort code. All right. So to do that, you can actually tell ePlan to sort your terminal strips numerically, page based, uh, by jumper, external cables, and so on and so forth. He's going to set them all up for you. Okay. So once that is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run here my automatic wire numbering. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to place. I have my little test scheme, which is doing the. 24 VDC and uh, general connections for the line numbers. So I'm going to hit OK. Boom. OK. Select my page. Connections. Numbering. Place. OK. Good. And uh, I should have taken my two pages so I can get my interruption point going. Project data, numbering, place. Here we go. Okay, so we slap that bad boy there. Project data, connections, numbering, enter designation. Here we go. Okay, good. Preview is fine. Good. So basically, uh, what I did is I made here 24 VDC. So these terminals are going to be 24 VDC. That's their designation. And these guys over here are going to get numbered by the line number. And if you notice here, what he does, 24 VDC, 24 VDC, and then he gives me the other um, level terminals, and everything looks pretty nice and sharp. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So now, um, what I want to do from here is I want to export to planning. So here with my little export to clip project planning, that's something that you get also over here. Um, you get this stuff that comes in when you install um, Clip Project. So I'm going to go Planning Export. Okay, use my settings. Here you have some settings. I'm not going to get into details on this. Uh, maybe I can do something else a little bit later on to explain a little bit more in details these um, settings. But basically, these are my default settings I have. So he's going to check all the stuff that I need, basing basing itself on an Exchange file that I have here. So I'm going to export that bad boy. So I'm going to go here, TB1. Okay. Getting clip project going. Cool. Right on. 
So I'm just going to snap this guy here. So as you can see what he's done now, he's brought in my terminal strip information. I'm just going to rotate my tags, rotate marking 90 degrees like that. And if you can see here now, what we have is basically, I'm just going to zoom that in. You have the wire markers that come in in the right spots. Obviously all I have, I would technically have to do is just select all my uh, terminals and maybe make my marking um, slightly smaller and uh, just so that it could you know send to print and so on and so forth and also um, with that it brought my yes uh, my uh, jumpers because all my 24 VDCs are jumpered together so clip project is doing all it is for me um, it also added these extra components which are with these little red highlights basically all my uh, separator plates and end stoppers and all the extra additional data that I need now what's kinda cool about that is that here in ePlan so far um, I haven't set any um, part info on, the, on these components yet so I just play, basically just place these components because it's a multi-level terminal he's uh, clip project is automatically assigning me um, some uh, some terminals that it, de it deems appropriate for this uh, project or for this job right here based on an exchange template that I set up what I can do from here now what's kinda nice is I can go here to ePlan export and here let me just make sure I got this is the trick make sure you got your page closed alright so, or basically just you know close your pages here so uh, clip when he's gonna write back he's not gonna see that that page is locked out so now he's sending to export right on okay good stuff now he's writing back to my project So all the all the additional stuff that I've done in Clip, which was basically a one-button process, um, it's all brought back into my ePlan project. Um, and what's kind of nice about this, all I have to do from here is inside my Clip project um, that I have right here inside this this uh, this terminal strip that I'm working on. I can automatically just send this from here straight with this button right here. I can send it to Clip Project Marking so that my uh, my Phoenix Twin printers, the little ones that they have out, are really nice to. They they really do a great job. Um, just you know, get all this information all printed up and everything for you. All right, so this stuff has been imported. If I go back now um, to my project he automatically inserted my terminal strip definition he added all my additional components that I needed alright if I go on every if I go on these terminals he's added the terminals that I need with all the additional data like the jumper the saddle jumper and everything else that it comes with it that I need or that I require so basically all I have to technically do is just update my bomb and all the data is been transferred so all that was a pretty much basic one button process alright so hope you enjoy and uh, We'll talk to you soon.